Chemical Recycling of Plastic Waste by Fast Pyrolysis New technologies are needed to handle plastic waste and recycle it back to new plastics in the future. One of the most promising chemical recycling technologies is pyrolysis, which has the capability to handle also more challenging waste plastic streams. In pyrolysis, the degradation of organic materials takes place under the effect of heat and in the absence of oxygen. To obtain high wax and oil yields, good temperature control, and very efficient heat transfer to plastic particles is needed. This can be obtained in a fluidized bed reactor, where a fluidization gas is used to mix the plastic particles with the hot sand at around 600 degrees Celsius. Nitrogen, steam, or the product gas are typically used as the fluidization gas in the process. After the pyrolysis, reactor cyclones are used to separate char, sand, and inorganic materials from the gases before the quenching of the product vapors. For product quenching, scrubbers, impact separators, and electrostatic precipitators are used to cool the gas and separate the liquid droplets from the non-condensable gases. Depending on the process conditions, pyrolysis yields typically a mixture of wax and liquid as a main product which can be further upgraded into chemicals, fuels, and new plastics in an oil refinery. Besides liquid products, a hydrocarbon-rich gas is also produced, which can be used for olefin production or in the pyrolysis process for providing energy for heating. Upgrading Plastics Pyrolysis Waste by Hydrotreating at VTT Plastics pyrolysis oil typically contains several impurities such as metals, halogens, acids, oxygen, sulfur, and nitrogen, depending on the quality of the feedstock. These impurities need to be removed before the oil can be recycled and used for the production of materials. In the hydro-treating process, the plastics pyrolysis oil and hydrogen gas are preheated and pumped through a tubular reactor. The preheated feed flows through the fixed catalyst bed where the impurities react with hydrogen gas, producing water, ammonia, and hydrogen sulfide, among others. Acid groups and double bonds are hydrogenated. The reaction takes place in the catalyst bed at elevated temperatures, ranging from 300 to 400 degrees Celsius, and elevated pressures, ranging from 30 to 100 atmospheres, in the presence of a catalyst, containing of an alumina base, impregnated with cobalt, nickel, and molybdenum. The hot reaction product stream is cooled before it flows through the pressure controller and undergoes a pressure reduction down to about three to seven atmospheres. The resulting mixture of liquid and gas is separated by pressure reduction. The oil phase contains the upgraded oil product, which can further be upgraded and fed to, for example, a steam cracker. VTT possess a four-folded hydrotreating unit suitable for upgrading plastics pyrolysis oils by contacting the oil with hydrogen in the presence of a selected catalyst. There are four parallel reactors, which allows testing of four different catalyst or process conditions simultaneously. The diameter of the reactor tubes is 16 to 19 millimeters, which makes the testing of industrial-size catalyst extra dates possible.